everybody. Welcome back to Two Tall Stitchers, to episode number 44. Yeah. I'm Carol, this is my daughter Jennifer, and I'm not going to call her crazy this time, even though she called me that last time, <laughs> because she pushed the button and she knew what to do. So <laughs> yeah. anyway, you know what we are, we are what we are. But anyway, thanks for coming back. If you're new, we welcome you. We hope you'll stick around. Um, it's always like this, so, you know, don't expect anything much better. <laughs> we just took a quick break and ran to McDonald's and got a drink and bought my husband a chocolate milkshake so he would stay out of our hair. No yep. peeking over the quilt. And so, <laughs> so we're ready to go. We have the door locked and <laughs> it's good. So um, we'd like to welcome back and, and thank everybody. And we also want to say a special hello to anybody watching from Purchase College. Because Jenna sent us, was it a picture? A picture. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Hi, guys. And there were four of them watching our floss tube. And All then, on one bed, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Curled up together after class. And then and then there were questions about who did our editing and who did our music and everything. And I, I'm sure that they were shocked to find that these two old ladies, actually one younger old lady, does the <laughs> editing and the music. And so, yeah, it was quite a surprise. So, hi, you guys, if you're hi. watching. Yep, hope you're having a good day. The rain has stopped and you're drying out. And if they're so. watching, they're probably eating their bagels. So I hope you're enjoying your bagels. Oh. They get bagels and it's from, from Einstein, Einstein, not yeah, from a not, New York bagel yeah. place. Okay, yeah, okay. It's okay. All right. <laughs> you can get Einstein <laughs> down the street here. <laughs> I, I grew up in New Jersey. And so I'm used to, you know, I grew up with good bagels and good pizza and everything. And we have one good New York pizza place here, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Um, I did tell her roommate that she had to go back and get Jenna some bagels to bring home with her at Christmas for me. So. Oh, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. But also we want to welcome, we have a few new subscribers, Lauren, Karen, Natalie, Jamie, Allie, Melissa, and Marilyn, who is from our quilt retreat. Hi, Marilyn. Hi. Hope to see you in a couple of weeks. And this is just a subset of new subscribers. I just yeah. some of the names. Yeah, Jennifer. So welcome to all of you. Yes, yes. But then with a special personal welcome. Yeah. yeah. And then also we'd like to mention Cat Stitch, who mentioned us on her floss tube, which is? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's cat stitch. K A T T, -T stitch. stitch. Yeah. Uh, check it out. Um, <laughs> and also, Michelle from Penny's Daughter Shares, she just had a, a, a pretty interesting floss tube. Her, not the newest <laughs> one, but the one before that. And Jennifer will talk to you about it because it was a pretty exciting time. It was the newest one. No, I think she has another one, doesn't she? No. Oh, okay. All right. Well, maybe it's the newest one, but yeah. if it is, you'll know. So we'll start out with our quilt of the day, which is by Jennifer. Yes, this is my newest finish. It's called Urban Pods by So Kind of Wonderful. And it's made using the Quick Curve Ruler. And let's see, I'll, we'll scoop back a little bit so you can see it. It's a lap size quilt and it's made with a focus fabric, a gray, and then a variety of blues or, or teals and purples in the middle. And this is a long running quilt. This is, it was started at a quilt retreat. That's the one I was ironing on the floor. Oh that my word. Like That's like probably six, six or eight, or eight years, years ago. Yeah. Um, we should insert a picture of that. <laughs> if, if we can find it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if we have one. Oh, we do. Well, we do, but it's on old phones and stuff. So we'll have. No, to... it isn't. Okay. She, apparently she has a picture. <laughs> so you'll see me sitting on the floor ironing. Um, and, uh, then I liked the top so much I didn't know how to quilt it and I didn't want to mess it up. And then they came out with a quilting ruler and I hemmed and hawed. Well, finally this year, it came up on um, the AP and Q UFO challenge, which I'll talk about in just a second, as the January project. And so I was like, okay, it's time. I ordered the ruler. I made the back. The back is um, one big piece of lavender fabric. And actually, you can see some of the quilting Oh, that's a good oh, shot, yeah. I think, of the yeah. quilting. Um, lavender, and then down the side, it's various teals, just from stash. So um, I put it on my long arm, and I did Walked away. custom quilting <laughs> on it. Actually, I'm just realizing, I took a video of that, so I will insert the video I'll probably put it at the very end. I don't know. It'll either be here or it'll be at the very end. You can fast forward if you don't want to watch it to show you what one pass of quilting this quilt is. It's ruler work and then hand guided work. So I am very, very happy to have this done. Um, we went after 
we filmed our last episode, I think, we went shopping and I got the fabric for the binding, which is just a nice purple batik. And oh, that's right. it and is it all finished. It needs a label, which I know someone who will do a nice custom label for <laughs> me. And um, it's ready to put out and use. So that is Urban Pods. I'm really happy with it. And she can hang it in Jenna's room since it's got purple. Yeah. <laughs> Even though she's not here. But, uh, so yeah. should I talk about the... I mentioned the AP and Q UFO sure, yeah, challenge. Yeah. So we talk sometimes about WIPGO. We will later today. Um, but in addition to that, I have done for several years the AP and Q UFO challenge. AP and Q is American Patchwork and Quilting. It's a quilt magazine that's been around for many, many years. Um, I think you have many, many issues of it because <laughs> you subscribed for a long I did. time. I've kind yeah. of cleaned them out, but I still have some. So each year they put out a page. And it has um, kind of like a whip go, but you put one project per month, your notes of where it is, and then you check it off when it's finished. So you can see from this list, first of all, I don't have 12 quilt UFOs. I only had nine at the start of the year. Oh. I've made one or two since the start of the year, so now I have to add them in. Um, but look, it was called in January, and I just finished it in September. So I'm doing great on the <laughs> UFO challenge for the year. Um, so I was trying to decide like, what should I do next? Should I go back to February or should I just jump ahead? Uh, they just called October, which is actually another one made with this same ruler. <laughs> so maybe I should jump into that. I don't know. But uh, but that's something for those of you who are quilters, if you have quilt, quilt UFOs, it's yep. a nice challenge. And then you follow AP and Q on Instagram and or Facebook. And each month on the first of the month, they tell you which number is called. So you put 12 projects and then they <laughs> scramble it and pick one each month. Um, also, if you're someone maybe who's thought about WIPGO, but you don't want to jump in with 25, you could just do this for your cross stitch. And, you yeah. know, the quilt police aren't going to come find you. So... Um, I've enjoyed it. I've done this for many years. It's been a good way to get down. Yeah. <laughs> some of my, really some of my off the UFOs. Wagon. So, no, I, my goal, uh, I started the year with nine. I'd like to end with five. So if I can get, um, three more finished, that would get me down to five. But then it's I, October, you realize. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so we'll try. <laughs> you never know. You never, never know. know. Yep. 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 So. So that's what I've been working on in the quilt room. That's my sewing for the day. Um, uh, life updates. It's been busy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been tennis season. My son plays high school tennis. He's a junior. He had a great year. He finished his year 13 and five. He played at, at least two matches with players who were significantly better than he was. Least, um, yeah. And he did really well in those matches. Super proud of him. Uh, he didn't win either of them. Uh, there was one match. I don't even think he got a game, but, but he uh, tried. He, but played, he hard. played hard and he played well. And I was so touched. The coaches selected him for most improved player for the year. And he also got academic honors on the team. So it was, yeah. I was out of town for a work trip, uh, but he had his celebration on Friday night. So I was super happy to hear that. And he's not ready to stop playing yet. So good. Good. He needs he, to well, and it's going to be warm this week. It's kind of like uh, early September, late August weather Ridiculous. this week. So, And you have to understand that his grandfather thinks he's going to be the next Roger Federer. Does. He's convinced that he's going to. We were watching. We've been wa catching up on the U.S. Open. And we're finally in the last, you know, the last game of the last set. <laughs> and it was just, it was like 1230. And I said, I'm going to bed. And yeah. so he's like, maybe someday we'll see Jack up there. I was like, yeah, probably not in your lifetime, yeah. but <laughs> no, I we'll don't, see. I don't think he'll... Uh, he, he doesn't aspire to be Roger right. Federer. Right. He aspires to play tennis and have a good time. Right. And, and yeah, he's not going to be a professional tennis player. Yeah. No. Mm -mm, no. Not Jack. No. Um, like I said, I went on a work trip to San Francisco. That was Tuesday morning I left and I got home yesterday afternoon. It was great. I had a chance to see my uncle and my cousin who I haven't your seen. Your cousin and your aunt. My aunt. Your uncle is dead. True. <laughs> true. Didn't see him. Um, I had last seen them when I was pregnant with the princess, my daughter, who is now 18 and a half. So it's been a while. So it was yeah. really nice to see them and have dinner with them. Had a great conference. Um, lots of interesting things happened during the week, but it was fun. Um, and then 
last weekend I went to Ohio to surprise Michelle of Penny's Daughter Shares. Um, and you can you can go, I'll link her floss tube where she talks about it. I won't repeat all of that here, but I was part of a big surprise oh, yeah. for her birthday weekend, the weekend after her birthday, actually. And we had a great weekend together shopping and stitching and talking and talking and talking. Yeah. Yeah. So it was I don't think she's recovered yet. I think she's yeah. still in shock. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was it was pretty neat. It was. They met at the craft gallery craft in Ohio. Gallery. We'll just say that quickly. And and she, Jennifer was there first and walked out. And Michelle was like, Yeah, for about ten minutes because she just she she was like, But I thought you had tennis this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I had thrown her off very well, and then we had a really fun weekend together. So hi, Michelle, yeah. and belated happy birthday. Yeah. Um, life updates for you. No. Doctor visits. Doctor visits and work. Work. That's about regular it. Regular stuff. Yeah, nothing exciting. Mm -hmm. okay. Nothing. Went to a couple tennis matches. The last two, the stadiums were really steep, and I can't. I don't handle steep stairs well, so unfortunately, I missed them. But a, they were over in like thirty minutes. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know that it was would have been worth it to drive over mm -hmm. there, climbing the the. Uh, you, ju the, you just the, made it the to the top of the stairs, and then, and then uh, would have yeah. been time to yeah. go. <laughs> so yeah. 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 Sorry I missed that, Jack, but yeah. Um, I love watching him play because he has gotten so much better, especially since seventh grade. Yeah. <laughs> Significant improvement. Yeah. But yeah, he's he's doing really well. And like I said, his father thinks he's going to be the next Roger Federer. His grandfather. His grandfather. Yeah. Thinks he's going to be the next Roger Federer. Yeah. So we'll see. All yeah. right. Well, you have some previous finishes to I show. Do, you I do. I do. through some of your Halloween Since stuff. it's October, this is one by Kay's Frames. And what's really cute is that it has the little thing lips so and most of the time the witch is in yeah and then this is another one i did and that was a quick stitch I oh think. yeah that yeah. was fast and i don't know why we put glass on this one because it has charms on it but that's another one and i unfortunately i don't know the name of this i might have the pattern but you know how unreliable i am when it comes to telling you what patterns are but if you really want to know put a note in the comments and You'll i'll start around. digging yeah. yeah and then this is my neat one that i did and I know I did this in Houston a long, but time, a long ago. time ago, but this is my witch. And Here. unfortunately, the, the glue dried, there. so the bat fell off. But Just pretend the bat's up, up there. Yeah. But um, yeah, so that's my my witch. And then she says, yeah. So, yeah, yeah she gets to come it's out. It's a fun now. one. And yeah. she sits on your mantle yep. of your fireplace every yeah. year. Yeah. Yep. And then you have another Christmas one that goes up yeah. after her, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So Good. Don't fly away. All right. Well, we have a few questions from the last episode. First was our question for you. This was a fun one. We asked, what format do you prefer your patterns in? And um, it was overwhelming paper. You guys love, love, love paper. Uh, yeah, that us too. Me. We both work off of paper. And I don't think either of us really works with a working copy, but we had... No, I just mess it up myself. <laughs> <laughs> we had 109 people who said paper. Wow. Yeah. 65 of those mentioned using a working copy. So like they print it off or they make a copy. Yeah, wow. Um, a handful of them mentioned that they blow it up and make a giant like poster uh -huh. and I'm actually going to insert a picture here because when Michelle and I were together she showed oh, yeah. me her well I think she did she hold it up for you yes she held yeah. it up for me she's working on a big Teresa Kogut piece I can't remember the name of it but she <laughs> she brought it with her thinking she would work on it not realizing I would be there but she had her giant poster and then she put her cross stitch over it. So you won't be able to see the design. But the the, the fabric is large. But the, I told her I'm going to start investing in scotch tape. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. So you love your paper. Uh, we had 27 people who said they like some version of electronic charts. Um, and there were some duplicates in here. Seven people who said they work just off of PDFs. Um, 10 people work off of Pattern Keeper, uh, which I know many people who do the full coverage love Pattern Keeper. Eight mentioned GoodNotes. Uh, three mentioned, I've heard it called Markup or Mark RXP. I'm not sure the exact name. It, look that up. Somebody said RXP, somebody said Mark XP, Markup. 
Um, I think it's another app similar to Pattern Keeper. Um, and then one said they just work off their tablet, work right off the PDF. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it was it was very fun. Um, couple common threads. People who don't mark tended to comment that they use magnets to keep their space. That's what both That's what of us do, do as yeah. well. Um, someone mentioned they scan their patterns into GoodNotes to take advantage of the capability to mark off what you've done. Oh, and yeah. also a lot of people mention they scan them and then they can blow it up. If it's really if, small. If it's small or if it's difficult to tell the symbols apart. That would have been something. good for the flower. What was that one? Flea market uh, flea flowers. Flea market flowers because yeah. those symbols were impossible to yep. follow. Um, we talked about the posters. Okay, this was the most brilliant one. And I wish I captured your name. Somebody said they use a friction pen. You know, friction mm -hmm, pens, which you mm -hmm. use in quilting, which yeah. you write. And, and then, then when you put heat, heat it goes away, away to mark what they've stitched. And then if they make a mistake, they just go over and put a hair dryer or an iron on it and take, take it, it out. out. Yes. What a good idea. Yes. So oh, I didn't see that's that one. An excellent idea. Wow. Um, yeah. So those were some of the common threads and the stats wow. and... I'll have wow. already probably have shown my graph of paper and electronics. So yeah. yeah, that was fun. Thank you all. We always like your answers. Yeah. And then Pokey okay. Little Pineapple asked the pattern that, that the white work is on red. And I actually found it and it's oh, the right good. one this time. It was Jardin Privé and it was a Sal de Noel 2019. And as you can see, it came in, in segments. That's why I didn't know where to start because I think the first segment, yeah, the first segment was the middle and I didn't know where it was gonna go. And uh -huh. that's why I wasted so much fabric because I started in the middle of my piece. And um, so, yeah, it was a, a um, it was in French and English and it, it was a five parter and it came out and I love it. But um, yeah, so that anyway, it was a, it was from Jardin Privé. Sal de Noel 2019, 2019. from Jardin Privé. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Uh, Kathy asked, what was the name of the birdhouse and flowers diamond painting? Kathy, I took a picture of it right before we started filming and we're filming on my phone. So <laughs> I'm going to go comment on your comment and tell you the name of it. Um, I think it was from Diamond Diamond Painting Art Club or Diamond Art Club. I'll, I'll comment and tell you. Sorry about that. <laughs> I meant to write it down before we started and I forgot. Yeah. Some days were really sharp. <laughs> yeah. All right. Speaking of being really sharp, sharp yeah. last time you showed uh, yep. your pattern for your white work on blue. It was the wrong one. And it was the wrong one. So, Sorry, Mickey. <laughs> um, you want to tell them the real yes. name? The real name is Winter Silhouette and it's by Imaginating, which is the snowman one that I showed you. So you can get both of them and do two of them on, <laughs> on, on blue fabric. But it's, yeah, it's Winter Silhouette. And it, I think it is still available. I looked up Imaginating. I Googled it and, and it's there. So you can okay. probably order it. Yeah. And um, if you don't have That a, was the long yeah. winter scene from two videos ago. Right. Right. Because right. last time yeah. you showed another right. one that's <laughs> snowmen. Yeah. That was the pattern. I don't even have that one done. Now I don't you're know where that to is. Now you stitch that one. I know. I thought yeah. I, I, I don't know. I yeah. I don't have anything else to work on here. Yeah. All okay. right. Deborah always asks about tennis. How'd you like the U.S. Open? Uh, I thought it was great. I love the Coco one. I yeah. thought it was great. Um, it was too bad Alcaraz got knocked out by Medvedev, but he really played hard. And the weather was just awful. It was so hot. Those poor guys and, and gals, I don't know how they functioned. I I just, oh my gosh, it was terrible. Yeah. Because that was when Jenna was in school and they didn't have air conditioning in their week dorm. Of school. Oh, yeah. And she was dying. Mm -hmm. And um, when I was FaceTiming her the one time, she was like, look at us, we're all sweaty. And I said, that's the glow of perspiration. <laughs> but for the pl tennis players, it was not a glow. They were just miserable with the ice packs and everything else. But it was really good. And like I said, we're just watching the tail end of it. But um, so I know how it turns out. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was fun. I love to watch it. And so now we have to wait for the Australian Open. We do have the tennis channel. And I watched some of those, but yeah. not quite the same. Not the same. Not the same. All right. But. Chris. Decided oh. you hadn't been enabled enough in Thank the you, last Chris. video, and she recommended something that I did approve her buying. Yeah. Uh, so you can show that now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> it's the snowman quilt. And I called the next day on Monday, and it came about two days later. And it's, Look at this. It's, it's the, the whole, whole kit, kit, and it's all flannel. Yeah. 
and it's just it's gonna be it's, 60 by 77 yeah yeah and we have work day tomorrow our quilt day so i'm gonna take the pattern and i'm gonna take a bunch of wonder under and i'm gonna take um my light box and i'm gonna do all work my tracing tracing do all my tracing because there's Good. a lot of things to trace in there yes a lot to trace so yeah so thank so you chris thank you chris <laughs> and and i mean i said don't tell jennifer but when i showed her she was like oh, you should yeah. get that and i was I like did. really yeah. okay so yeah. i got it mm -hmm. what's one more project in my bins dibs on that one <laughs> put, put in, the, in will the will to me yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right and then i want to thank watcher steve buckwalter i don't know steve if you're a watcher or somebody else you share a uh, youtube name with um, they recommended Mountain Laurel Stitches is a YouTube channel, and um, her mom recently passed away, and she did a quilt parade of all of her mom's quilts. Oh, how neat. And they thought we would enjoy it, and I watched it. I enjoyed it, and then I watched another episode of hers, and I plan to keep watching. So encourage you all who enjoy our quilts to go over to Mountain Laurel, and um, it, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, look at her, look at her videos, especially the one that's her mom's quilt parade. Yeah. See, Jennifer will be able to do that when I die. <laughs> yeah, they said they've are they've seen him. Well, you'll get to see him again. again. You'll some oh, okay. will remember all of them. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you ready to jump into some stitching? Oh yeah. All right, you have some whips. Any yeah, new starts? I have new starts. Yeah. Let's see. Um. While you're pulling, I'm going to start yeah, with can, a couple. Can yeah, because I have a bunch. Oh, this is my new start. Um, so this was my travel piece when I went to San Francisco this week. It's Holiday Wishes by Jan Lynn, and I'm working on this Santa here. And I did more ripping out than putting together because <laughs> I knew, I think I said in the last video, something was off over here. And sure enough, it was. So I went in and put in the dark red, which then highlighted what was off in the oh, lighter okay. red. So you can see I took a bunch out. But the best part was on the way out, I had a middle seat on the plane between two guys. And I worked for a while and then um, read a book for a while. And then I pulled out my cross stitching and they were both like, what are you doing? What's that? And then one guy said, oh, my mother-in-law knit. <laughs> So anyway, it was it was cute. They were very interested in what I was doing. So still a long way to go on this one, but I'm plugging away, and um, it's a good it's a good travel piece because it's very easy to see without magnification. The light doesn't even have to be outstanding. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I have a couple of whips. I didn't bring it over, but I'm still working on the Mill Hill kit for my son-in-law. The the oh, do you want me to grab it? No, it's okay. I've done more. It's it's coming along. Okay. It's over there somewhere. and But then um, I was watching um, Cornhusker State Stitchers a few weeks ago, and Jamie actually had a finish, and it was the Ben Creek Stars and Stripes Forever. And you know I love patriotic stuff as well as holidays. So guess what? There's my new start. And I was working on it with my Sunday morning stitching. And um, I don't think it's going to be, it's not going to take too long. I'm using no. my sulky threads. Which is oh, really nice. neat. Yeah, the, we picked out the we colors. We picked those out yep. for a retreat, didn't yep. we? Yeah. And then um, uh, Kim, who was at our retreat, said, I have this one ready to go. You want to do a stitch along? So I said, yes. I said, we'll do a, a hashtag patriotic sal. Okay. And if you want to do it with us, um, it's a stitch along. Uh, so a start along, which means you start it, but there's no pressure that you have to finish it in 10 okay. minutes. So patriotic so. sal. They can do that or any other yeah, patriotic yeah, piece. Yeah, oh, I yeah. like that. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. So, hi, Kim. And we'll st get started because yeah. I'm ahead of you now. Yeah. For right now for this minute. And we'll put Kim's um, yeah. Instagram. Yeah. I don't think she has a floss too, but we'll do Instagram. She has Instagram. Yeah. 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 Okay. Patriotic style. I love it. Yeah. Well, I might have to pull out something new to start that. Oh, my. Okay. Honestly. And then I think... I have another one downstairs. It was the the one I started at retreat, and I haven't really done oh. very little on that. So, um, and I'm kind of, sort of caught up. Okay. Which is shocking. I'm not. So let's okay, go. you go. Yeah. So next <laughs> oh, one, this I took with me last weekend, camping out my Mill Hill buttons and beads kit. And if you saw my Sunday morning stitching progress, 
um, or my video with Michelle, you'll see it looks exactly the same. I haven't put another stitch in, but I did get the tent put in. Um, and I feel like I did something else, but maybe not. Maybe it's just that tent part that I'm working on. This also, it's another, it's a pretty good travel piece, but with the dark perforated paper, it's a little bit oh, hard. You, yeah. you do actually need good lighting for this one. Yeah. So those were my two travel ones. And then at home, I worked on a bunch. I jumped around a lot the last couple of weeks. So not huge progress on anything. Um, first is Spooky Fence by Raise the Roof. And this one I really like working on. I am stitching it on 32 count Lugana Stormy Night. Uh, with the called, nope, not the called four colors. With what I had in my stash that looks like most of the called four colors. I think that purple is a different one. And there it is. I worked on that fence post on the far right to me, left to you maybe, um, with the purple cape. And I worked on some of that grass because there's a lot of grass that goes under the bottom. Oh, is there? Oh, okay. And as I learned before, don't leave all the grass till the end. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> yep. So I'm moving along on that one. Um, oh, and my needle minder, my Sassanac needle minder for the Outlander fans from my friend Beth. Love that one. Uh, that's a fun stitch. And man, every time I stitch on this, I'm like, I love Lugana. Oh, yeah. Uh, this morning I put in some stitches on the top for Block Party 31st. So this is by Hands On Design. I finished this part and I finished the bottom and now I'm working on this top piece. And let's see, that is the top of it. This is on 28 count cashel linen, black. And I think I'm over halfway. Yeah, I'm over halfway. I still have to go in and put some white and purple stitches in each of the corners. Um, so I'm going to try to stay focused on this one for the next couple of weeks and have that be a finish next time. Oh, that'd be good. Um, probably not an FFO, but a yeah. finish. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, because I'd like to get that made into the mattress finish. Mm -hmm. Um and then this one, I, this was my birthday start at Retreat, Bent Creek Bluebird Sampler. And if you were here then, you might remember I was not happy with it because I had made a mistake. Oh, now I have a missing needle. Uh-oh. Shoot. I don't know if it's in here. Yeah. Uh, uh, found it. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Um, so I took out the green that I did not like, and I found a new green, and my new green is Collards, I think. Yes, it's Collards by Weeks Dye Works, and I found the mistake in the bird, and I fixed that, so now we're on good terms again. So, um, lots left to do here, but I enjoyed pulling that out again, and this is on 32 count Amber Waves Lugana. Oh, pretty. Also really happy. And another needle minder from my friend Beth, Park City, Utah. This was a sticker that she bought and she reinforced it and then put a magnet on it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's Isn't neat. that neat? So that was part of my birthday gift from her. And Jennifer is ski to Park City. Yes. A couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, two more to go. Wow. Uh, like I said, I jumped around a lot. Okay, next is my temperature chart. And I heard there's a couple other people who've now bought this and are gonna do it next year. Um, Mini Stars by Zara Design Studios. She has re-released this for next year where the middle, like it's bigger and there's a space in the middle for you to put the year and the city. Oh, that's really yeah. good idea. Yeah. Oh, I like that. So I'll plan to put it below, <clears throat> Yeah. but... Um, yeah, and this is current through like mid September. I can't even find. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So we've had a lot of a lot of green days across the top and down the side, um, and that's how that's coming along. And this is on 
something i can't remember platinum seems like it's here okay. it's somewhere in here i think oh sorry guys i can't remember what it's on um it might be a 25 count platinum lugana i sounds can't remember familiar. yeah sounds familiar platinum here. i've said it in other videos so if you've got to know go back go and back look. and and look at those yeah um but yeah, this is an enjoyable stitch. I'll work on this at some point this week to catch up and then I'll get behind again <laughs> because we'll be traveling. I generally work on this Wednesday nights and so I missed this week and hopefully I'll make that up. Yeah. This last, I missed last week. And then my last one is a new start. So when I went over to meet Michelle, I took way too much because that's what we do, right? And... I thought I would take something that would, again, be easy to stitch, not knowing what hotel room lighting would look like. I did bring lamp, my lamp, um, but I decided to pull out this one. I had it kind of kitted up for a while. This is Froney Ritter uh, Designs Christmas Panels, and I got this one at Market this year. And um, in the picture, these are stitched on Ada, and I think these are stitched on perforated paper, but I'm doing them on per both on perforated paper. I was just going to do the first one, but somehow I didn't have all the colors, which I had forgotten. Um, oh, they're tiny. So yeah, they're just like the little <coughs> sled pieces. So yeah. I made pretty good progress. Joy, I didn't have any 310 with me. I had no black with me. Oh my goodness. This is in another project. So yeah. I just need to go pull a skein of 310 and then... Um, there's a couple other colors that I'm missing, but those are coming along quickly and I should be able to finish them as soon as I get the new colors and then I'll have two ornaments. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I'm pretty sure some of those I should take those out too. Yeah, they're so easy and yeah. so quick and they make cute gifts. So yep. Um, so that's all my whips and my one new start. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right finishes you have a big oh finish. finish yeah yeah well you have a little, finish, a little and finish. A big finish okay this is and i um i think it's a bend creek it's called it is. it's called um candy, candy corn. corn of mischief and i it was jennifer did it originally and then i started it but i ran out of pearl cotton and i was like oh uh, uh, uh. so finally two weeks ago i broke down and i bought the pearl cotton <laughs> and it finished so quickly yeah, that I'm I'm cute. really pleased with it. So it's done. And I even pressed it for you guys. How about that? Because I did it in a hoop, which I normally don't do. But um, yeah, it was, and it was do you quick think you're finish. Gonna frame that? I don't know what yet. Probably. Yeah. It's kind of an awkward size for a stand up. I and found a frame that fit mine. It's yeah, really tight, but yeah. it fit it. And then the other one I've been working on is Highland Woods by Pedal Pusher. That's this one, and it's a shop model. And guess what? That one is done too. So here we go. Can you see it? And uh, it's even got my oh, it's so initials pretty. and the date. Yeah. I, it says in the pattern that you use four skeins of floss, but I used about four and a half. And I'm pretty stingy with my floss. Oh. So if you decide to get this pattern and you get, um, you know, the single color, buy five. Yeah. It's cheap insurance. And this is a look on it, it looks like. Yeah. It's... Um, I had it somewhere. Oh, it's twenty. I think it's twenty-five count platinum, maybe. Yeah. And it's um, I used Turkish red weak dye works, mm -hmm. five skeins. Really pretty. Yeah. And, and tell so them the best news. The about best news. Going we we had the opportunity to pick up a bunch of frames, and you know sometimes you just see them and you grab them and think, oh yeah, I have one that fits this perfectly. Yeah. The only trouble is it's black, so we're gonna have to paint it. Yeah. But that's not a big deal. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna paint it white, and yeah. so. I'll get it finished. Yay. It's really exciting. And that really is a shop pretty. model. So yeah. I want to get it in the shop pretty quickly. Yeah. So those are my two finishes. That's why I don't have a and lot of whips. And you said the name of the pattern. Did is you? Highland Woods by Petal Pusher. Petal Pusher. Pusher. Yeah. 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 So yeah. So that's done. Yay. Great. So that's why I started the um, uh, Stars and Stripes Forever because yeah. I got those two done and I thought, okay, nice. reward yourself. Don't go work on the Mill Hill kit. You know, just. <laughs> Could always be for another Christmas. It doesn't yes. have to be for this one. It'd be the what third or fourth time's the charm. <laughs> Speaking of shop models, I also got one of my shop models done. So this is Landscape by Works by ABC, Arlene Cohen. 
And uh, we saw these patterns at market. There were three of them. I won't remember the name. So there were three of them and they're so pretty. They're all the same pattern and you just stitch it with variegated thread. This calls for four colors. If you've been here for a while, you've seen it before. And I keep losing my notes on what I stitched it on. My little thing isn't in here. I'm pretty sure this is 32 count smoky white. Over two. Linen over two, yeah. And I didn't iron it, sorry. And there it is. So it's that so pretty. Is, I was really close last time and <laughs> yeah. I told myself I will be done this time. So this I have a frame for that I got at our retreat in the same frame sale. And also I need to paint it. I should have brought it today. Oh, if yeah. I known you were gonna yeah. do it, we could have painted them both. But um really happy with how this one turned out and look forward to finishing it to put it in the shop. So we have two shop models. We have two ready to go. Yes. Um, oh, shock Vicky. <laughs> yeah, she'll be glad because we've had them for a while. Yeah. So that's whips finishes. Yep. Yep. We have some FFOs. Oh, what about the challenge? You want to talk about that? Yeah, so let's talk first about the FFO Challenge. So I think um, if you've been here a while, you know about FFO Challenge 2023 on Instagram. If you haven't looked for a while, I recommend looking at the hashtag. It's still just awesome. It's There's the finishes, so you guys are doing many great. finishes and yep. so many people. Somebody this morning pulled one out that was finished in 2021, and they were super happy to get it framed. So still really enjoying that. So the first one I'll share, I won't actually go in order, but I'll share the one that I made for Michelle because I don't have it. Again, if you want to see it, you can go to her video, but I stitched um, Helen D's fabric and floss tube. I think that's the name of it. Mm -hmm. um, fabric and friends yeah. pillow for Michelle. And I'll <clears throat> put a picture of it here. I stitched it on 32 count parchment linen with I think the called for threads or very close to the called for um and then mom loaned me her buttons I have your buttons yeah you brought, I brought yeah. them back yeah. yeah it's like 50 pounds of buttons she brought them down <laughs> to my house and I put a couple of buttons on in it. a snowman tin <laughs> in a snowman tin yes indeed and then I had some of the trim tape that is measuring tape measuring tape and so i put that on and i had some beautiful green fabric from terry degenkolb who mom used to work for that just went with it perfectly and that's michelle's favorite color is green so i knew i had to have green in the pillow um and then if you've been here a little while you might remember my inspirational stitches and how i put a pocket in the back of them to put a card in well that was actually michelle's idea so I put a packet, a pocket on the back of the pillow and put a note in there for her. So that was a, a fun finish. I, oh, yeah. I think I decided a week before that I was going to do it. So. She called me on Tuesday night and said, and sent me a picture. She said, look what I have done. Look what I have done. She said, it's only Tuesday. I'm not leaving till Friday. I know. So she yeah. was really excited. Yeah. Because we're known for our last minute last finishes. Minute. Yes. <laughs> so that was started, finished, FFO'd and gifted. All since we saw well, it last. Okay, so you're still talking about Whipgo. Oh, no. We'll do Whipgo last. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. right, right here. But... Yeah, let's do our FFOs and then oh, we'll go okay. to Whipgo. Yes, somebody kindly reminded us we hadn't done a Whipgo update in a while. <laughs> okay, so let's go to FFOs. So the first one I did, I think when we were here last time, we told you that oh, we had a bunch of like we had an FFO day where we plotted out everything. So I've actually been working on some of the things we plotted out. So the first one is Jelly Bean Jubilee. And this pillow that says Easter is called Penelope and her Peeps. And I stitched that earlier this year, I think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I started at our spring retreat and it's not yet attached to the board, <laughs> but this is how it is going to look. Um, I it's found that beautiful. fabric and oh my gosh, it was perfect. Oh, I know you colors. couldn't ask for better fabric. So was it in I, your stash? It was in my stash. Wow. It's an old one in my stash too. So this was on a either a 25 or 28 count linen with sulky threads. 
and I picked colors that I liked that I had in Sulky and then this backing fabric was just perfect. Yeah. The reason I haven't attached it yet is because below it, it's an autumn thing, which I like and I don't, this is like paper mache on. Oh yeah, you don't so want to mess that So I don't want to put magnets on it. So I think I'm going to come in the back here and I need to get some heavier magnets yeah. that will let me magnetize through Yeah, because it's not super thick particle board. Yeah, and this is yeah. from Ashland. It's called Pumpkin Patch. Uh, I think Ashland is... Was that Hobby Lobby? Uh, I think it's Joann's. Oh, okay. I think Ashland is the Joann's line. But there it is. If you're interested in that, you can, you can screenshot that. This is at least a year old, if not two or three. So I don't know if it'll be around again, but man, that box was the perfect size for Easter. So that'll get magneted to there. Yeah, and, that's great. Um, yeah, really happy with that one. You want to do one of yours yeah. and then I'll do another um, one. I was working on this. That's why I don't have any more in progress. Yeah. Cause I did the Christmas quilt. This was from uh, Primo's Cottage Stitches and I got the stitching done and oh, don't so be shocked, cute. but I finished it. I ordered, oh, that just, <laughs> Sorry, it's only it a pillow. I remember, I ordered the finishing kit, so I said I had to make it. And yeah. so I got it stitched, and I got it stuffed. They gave you the little um, uh, wool uh, piece wool. to go on the back. This is what, flannel on the back. And then they sent the the buttons with it. I don't know if you can Look see them the well. Yeah, yeah, they're really cute. The buttons are adorable. They and are. then I put a charm on the bottom. I used one of my 2023 charms. Don't faint. Yep. Right there. Yep. Oh, it so, turned out really cute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I had not finished a pillow with, with a trim like that yeah. before. And so it's not perfect, but because I really screwed up. But um now I know what to do. I did watch the Primrose Cottage Stitches tutorial for it. Okay. As far as doing it with the little um uh, pom poms. Pom poms. And the one thing is don't cut your stitched fabric until after you sew your pom poms on. Uh, because I I measured it all out. I, I said, great. And then I cut it and then I laid it down. And I thought, well, where do I sew? The line is uh, gone. So it's, you'll see, there's another one okay. I finished. It's a little so, wonky. You you lay it out and you, you let's, measure. Let's link the video. Yeah, we'll link the, the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so anyway, it's done. And I think it's really pretty. And I'm really proud that I finished it, even though I kind of, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Go ahead. Do another oh, one. okay. Another one. Okay, so you guys know I'm from New Jersey originally, and I got these two. I have one for New Jersey and one for Indiana, and I finished the New Jersey one. I think you showed and the finish last time. I, I may have, piece. but I finished the pillow. Oh, cute. And this is another one where I got a little carried away, and um, <laughs> so it's not perfect. The next one will be better. I haven't done Indiana yet, but now I know not to go crazy trimming my stitch piece before I sew. And, but anyway, I'm I'm pleased with it. It's a it's yeah. a nice finish. So that's another finish. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And then I oh, is that cute? Yeah. I made a hoop ornament with a hanger. Um, from this is Primrose Cottage Stitches, White Christmas. It was the first. They've had two releases with four ornaments each. So this was the first one. And since it was a reindeer, I had to stitch it. Um. And so I had this piece of fabric in my stash. I think I bought it when we went to Oregon when Jack was a baby. And it's not actually cotton, I don't think. Um, and so I just cut strips and it's real ravelly. I don't know if it shows Oh, up. the fabric it's you used on the hoop. On the hoop, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, 25 count platinum, I think, uh, or something no, like that. No, it's not Smoky, platinum. We've been, smoke, we've been saying platinum gray, all day. I don't know what yeah. it is. Um, it's a 25 count Lugana of some sort. Uh, it was what was called for oh, okay. in the Primrose pattern. Um, so this is just the um, hoop is wrapped and then I did a bow and I did a ribbon at the top so it can hang. And then on the back, it has got a little wonky there. Don't look at that corner. But I just took a piece of felt and stitched it to the back. So I just, I realized I don't have a date on it. So no, that maybe I'll do just something on the back, yeah. do a little charm on there. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so that's another that's cute. another ornament done. So I'm up to 27 FFOs for the year with this one. 
And then number 28. Oh, this is exciting. This was great. So we did our thing. We made a list. These are the things we need frames for. I was smart. I took my list with me to craft gallery. I took a couple of pieces with me and I found the most perfect frame for this piece. And this I stitched a long time ago, 2016. I have the pattern, but I can't find it right now. I think it was a Mimi's creations or Mimi's designs. I tried a Google image search, no luck. Um, this is definitely an older pattern, but I love reindeer. And can you believe how perfect that frame is? I mean, the gold and the green match the gold and the green there. And it's the perfect size. And the best thing was I laid this on the table over my piece. It was a, a pre-finished frame. At Craft it's Gallery. A, at at craft, craft Gallery. It's a case frame. And I left it sitting there. And Patty came out and said, oh, do you want to have Paula frame this while you're here? And I said, well, uh, uh, she said she can do it while you wait. Or if you come back tomorrow, you can pick it up then. She finished it while I waited, you guys. It is completely done. It has the little bumper things. It has the hanger and it is ready to go. So this is FFO number 28 for the year. Yeah. I am thrilled with it. And this is one of my older pieces to be yeah. FFO. Yeah. So really glad to have that one. But the done. frame is just so perfect. And the frame is just perfect. Yeah. So. Yeah, so that's, oh, you still have another one. I still have another one. And I don't have the pattern anymore because I loaned it to someone and she has it at home. But yeah. um, I, it was loaned to me by Kim, who we're doing the patriotic sale together. And, and you showed it in our last episode. I, sh I think I showed it, but there's my hat. Yeah. She's all done. Isn't that pretty? So cute. So excited. So yeah, that's I think finished. you had. Yeah. You're like I, I, I had the stitching the done. Yeah, I had the stitching. Oh, did you have the stitching? No, maybe not a, a good part of it. And then um, I, you know, I have an embroidery machine and they came out. I have made different candle mats. I have a, I've made a ghost and I've made the Christmas one, I think, and everything. You made a 2020 but one. I made a 2020, yeah. <laughs> but I made this one, yeah, which is really pretty. Fall. And it's for fall. So it's, you know kind of in between it's it's a good thing i have the ghost one which is good for halloween but this is a good fall one yes so i made one for me and one for my friend yes <laughs> and i use it as a coaster oh okay on my coffee table okay yeah so yeah. it's out yeah all right i'm gonna pause so we can clean up what we have here and then we'll go to haul and happy mail oh my be right back i haven't seen the haul yet i didn't make it but it's done we forgot to talk about whip go so yeah. we're gonna do that before we go into haul so uh, Whipgo is by Jessie Marie Does Stuff, and this year we both decided to play along. I am doing all FFOs on my Whipgo. You are doing a variety of things, um, or not doing as it may go. So we thought we would give you an update. I will show you, this is my Whipgo board of finished items. So you can see I don't have a bingo yet. I'm close in a couple of places, but what is that? Close, but not. No cigar. No cigar. Yeah. Yeah. So um, why don't we do a quick run through? So January <laughs> was number six, an inspirational stitch I did. And number 10, something on the design wall. Can't remember what I did, but I checked it off. Oh, no. I can see here. Oh, my autumn ABCs. Oh, okay. Yeah. What did you do for January 6 and 10? Uh, six was knit a hat, which I started. Okay. And that's as far as I got. And ten, and the other one was men's socks, which I kind of started and I haven't finished that yet either. <laughs> Didn't so. you hold them up in one of our episodes and say, do not let me start another pair of socks. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What can I say? <laughs> All right. February was number 11 and number seven. So number seven for me was a new style of finish. And I did my Lady Liberty stand up. And you can find all of these on my Instagram. Um, number 11 was something that I had already started to FFO. And I did my Give Thanks pillow. What about you? Seven number and seven was embroider the Christmas towels. And I did it. You did it. I did it. They're done. Okay. Yes. So I got one done. And then the other one was, I have a, a niche in my stairs as you come up. And I have a thing I'm going to put together to make a wall hanging. And I've looked at it. Okay. Okay. But I haven't worked on it. <laughs> I've looked at it. So is no your, X is there. Is your thing work on it or look at it? 
Because well, if it says look, work on if it, if it's but look on it, you could check it I out. Could, yeah, I'll take it out and say, yeah, I've looked at it. Maybe yeah. you could take that to retreat. Yeah. Idea. Yeah. Okay, March was number two. And 22. And 22. So, yes, I finished both of those. For me, number two was a fabric finish, and I did the snip snip pillow for the exchange. That sounds a little mm -hmm. like we you're taking had your that dog discussion. to the vet. Um, <laughs> or your husband. <laughs> There it is. Uh, and 22 was something with a heart on it. And I did one of my inspirational stitches had a heart on it. Um, what did you do? For okay. Two and Number two was start a Mill Hill kit. And I have it crossed off, which means I started one you somewhere. Did. You started the little wreath one. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so that was it. Yeah. And that's finished. Yeah. Oh, my God. And so that FFO. Yes. And then and my other one was work on a gift. And that's when I worked on my uh, daughter-in-law's um, that we showed yep. last month that I finished yep. all four of them. Good. So that's, that's two. So you had a good March. <laughs> all right. April was number five and number 17. For me, number five was a bell pull. I have not done that one yet. I have two to do, so I should be able to get it done before the end of the year. And then 17 was a piece for a gift. So I used one of my inspirational stitches for that one. My number five was finish, uh, you know, do an FFO on that berry, which I did, which turned out to be the world's hugest berry. I'm, a, you know, next time I'm doing it over <laughs> one or something, it's a big Just sucker. Just smaller. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then my other one was work on a gift. No, not work on a gift. So make a bag. So I made a bag somewhere. My, maybe a project bag. Yeah. I can't remember. You made all the little glam bags. Oh, yeah. I had the yeah, glam bags, too. So bags. that probably counted. Yeah. So, yeah. So those are two X's. Good. That's four. So you said you haven't been doing that, but you have. <laughs> All right. May was 23 and 25. So 23 was a pillow finish. I don't have that crossed off, but man, I should because I've done a lot of pillows. Well, you did the one for Michelle. You can cross it off just for I that. I think I used that for something else. Oh, okay. I could work on a gift. Maybe. Yeah. Um, and 25 something with an animal on it. And that was my months of the year wall hanging, the big wall hanging that I did with the blue and gold. We worked on it here. We picked out the fabric here. Oh, yeah. 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 What did you do for 23 and 25? 23 was work on a piece from Kay's frames. Uh, again, I looked at the frames, but I haven't done anything. I but bet I do you have a patriotic one you could pull out and I probably add do. it to the patriotic yeah. style. Yeah, why not? Do too. Yeah. And number 25 is work on the sweater. And I did actually look at that this morning, and now, okay. um, oh, that was the other thing we did. Which show. sweater? The one. The one that. Did I bug you about all the yes, time? Yes, yes. Okay. The one um, that I'm struggling with. Um, what I didn't show is um, this is the socks. I oh, have. Okay. I have both of the socks finished. I just have to Kitchener the toe, but in my infinite wisdom, I cannot find my needle. <laughs> I have a bag with all my knitting tools. And you, if you saw this place, you'd understand why. Yeah. But for some reason, they have gone out to lunch. And so I'm hoping that they come back for dinner. Yeah. And we'll see. But anyway, so my socks are done, essentially. Good. Except for the toe. Good. So, yeah. All right. June. So that doesn't count on work as a sweater. <laughs> work no. on the sweater. <laughs> June was four and... What's the other one for June? 16. Oh, 16. Yep. So four for me was something that shouldn't take long. And it didn't. I did the circle of flowers and the hoop. Oh, yeah. And then uh, 16 was an ornament. And I did my Christmas joy ornament. I don't know which one that was. <laughs> it's on my Instagram. Oh, I believe okay. it. Oh, that was the one in the little with the um, half globe oh yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah okay. i have that one too so both of my jeans <clears throat> are done what about yours my my june was start a pair of socks which is i just showed you i finished That's so those. that counted yeah. and my um 16 was the throw for jenna which is in the bag <laughs> it's in the project bin and i need to get working on that but um yeah okay so that was june i haven't been real good on this at all july nine 13 and 21 because 13 was the free space. Uh -huh. So I finished nine, finished with a frame. I finished my polar surprise, which is my little polar bear. Yeah. Uh, 21, a fabric finish. That's what I counted the one for Michelle. Oh, okay. The fabric and friends pillow. 
Um, and then Stitcher's Choice. I've finished a lot of things that could go in there, but I specifically started one for Stitcher's Choice mm -hmm. that I haven't finished yet. Okay. So I should still get back to that. Okay. Um, my number nine was work on the baby dress, which I started for Brandon when she was a baby. She's now five. <laughs> So, and it's it's essentially done. That's what's driving me crazy. And so um, our wonderful neighbors next door have a little girl who's two, but she's tiny. So I can get this done for her and I plan to. Yeah. And then my, what was the other number? 13, 13. and 21. 21 was, no. Yeah. 13, 21 was start a berry. Um, I'm, I'm burned out on berries right now. So I didn't start a berry. <laughs> I All was right. still struggling with the the humongo berry. Yeah. So I will start another. And 13. Oh, that 13. Was the free space. That was, the, oh, that's what it was. 13, Um, do a shop sample. Yes, yeah, so you so can cross done. that Yay. off. Yay. Okay. All right. So. Uh, August 18. And where's the other August? I'm looking. I don't see it. Uh, 24, 18 and 24. So my 18 was something with an existing finishing piece. And I finished Sunshine House, which I showed last time on the little mounted wood piece with mm -hmm. the, the hanger. And then 24 is a flat fold. I have finished many flat folds, but I haven't finished one since August. So we'll see. At the end of the year, I'll count it if I don't do another one. <laughs> okay, my 24 for August was take a piece to the framer. And actually... I thought it would be ready for today. Yeah, we but, should uh, we have, should, we, we'll she have hasn't frame called. pieces too. So yeah, we'll have frame. And then my other one was 18, start a Christmas ornament. And um, well, this kind of is a start and a finish. It could yeah. be, it, it's an ornament. I mean, it's not going to hang, but it's a Christmas. Yeah. Christmas so I say count it. So yeah. So, okay. Cross Yay. it off. Where is it? There we go. Okay. Okay. And then September... Did you even was tell me what's the number was? one? Oh, I didn't know. That. And number fifteen. So, my number one is something stitched more than two years ago, and I don't think I've done that yet. And then, what did I say? The other one was fifteen stitched less than six months ago, and I used the Easter piece, Penelope and her peeps for oh, that okay. one. Okay. Yeah, so that's done. My September was work on a UFO, and I did work on the um, uh, the candy cr corn. The candy corn. Oh that yeah, was a that UFO. works. Okay, yeah. yay! So that. Oh gosh. And then my other one was work on a cross stitch series, and I have a couple, but I haven't started them, so okay. I didn't do that. Okay. And then October. Oh. I don't think I have them written in yet. No, because it's October 1st, so... Yes, they, they she's published the yet. numbers, but I don't have them written in yet. Oh, well, this is exciting. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, Do seven, you have eight, a bingo nine, yet? 10, 11, 12. No, but I have 12 finishes, or 12 Xs. Holy crow. I have no, 14, I need, so I we're close. Two here, and then I need nice. two here. I need two here. Yeah. And three here. Oh, I only need one here. Make a quilt right. back. Actually, the quilt back went with... with Pam. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know when that's going to be called, but it's done. It's done. It's done. All right. Oh, yeah. So we've made good progress. Do you want to show yeah. that while we're talking about yeah, it? Yeah, it would be nice. Okay. We kind um, of skipped quilting. And... Yeah. Oh, we had it later. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. but we got carried that's away. That's okay. Okay. This is the Moda challenge that was back over, I think, MLK. And they thought you were going to do it that weekend. Yeah. And uh, that didn't happen. But I finished it last week. I finally put the borders on it. And Pam took it home on Thursday and brought it back to me on Friday. Yay! And so it's all I done. And I got the binding on it. I have a hanging sleeve on it. And it's finished. It might be our quilt of the yeah, it might episode be. next yeah. episode. Yeah. So You'll nice. see a better. So, yeah. Congratulations. So, yeah. And then I have a bingo. Yay! Good Shock. for you. Shocking. 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 All right. Shall we go into Hall and Happy Mail now? Why not? <laughs> okay. So that's our whip go updates. That's our quilting updates. Our shocking whip go updates for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Happy Mail. Should we start with Happy Mail yes. first? Yes. So I have one birthday gift that I don't have with me because it's in the washing machine. <laughs> My friend Beth sent me a cross-stitch t-shirt. I will probably wear that next time. Um, 
Thank you, Beth. I love it. I wore it last weekend. Where's your board? Um, and then the second thing I we have is Missy from Two Needles Pulling Thread. Oh. It's, I don't, no, it's fine. No, there. there. Scent needle minders that they had made. Mom has sent uh, Missy a couple of gifts. And so she responded with these for us. So those yes. are very fun. Thank you very much, Missy and Kathy. We both enjoy yes, watching welcome. your channel. And I just saw this morning, you guys have like an FFO parade on your latest episodes. So I, uh, I was enjoying watching that and then I got interrupted in the middle. So I will enjoy going back to it. And then I got another birthday gift. This was funny from Michelle before we met, <laughs> she, um, has gotten to know Jenny Tunbridge of Patchwork and Poppies. And Jenny has, um, I think she's done project bags for a long time and she just opened a shop with other items. And so she sent me a lovely gift of Jenny's items. It came with this card um, and then three gifts. And they were beautifully packaged and I ripped right into them and then thought I should have taken a picture. So I at least put this one back together. Each package had a little bow around it um, and the other ones had uh, really pretty tissue paper. So I she sent a needle minder and I love that for the that? quilt block, yes really like that yeah and then she sent me a finishing board and this is the perfect size for a small finish it has some uh wording on the back of it amy weaver designs nibble boards is what they're called and then she sent me this beautiful spool and purple is one of my favorite colors much to my mother's chagrin and these all turn and these are finishing ribbons they're velvet finishing ribbons. I don't know how I'm supposed to take them off of here because they're so pretty on there, <laughs> but Michelle says I'm supposed to use them. So those were my gifts for Michelle. Thank you very much. I love them all. Now I can use my needle minder now that I've shown yeah. <laughs> both of my needle minders. Yeah. yeah. So that was happy mail. Um, shall we start haul? Sure. Okay. I didn't get any happy mail. Well, I got a needle minder from um, you got a needle Kath, minder too from Missy. Yeah. Missy, yeah. yeah. Um, I saw this pattern at Acorns and Threads. They were out, and she said just order it through your shop. So I did. Cricut Collection number two twelve, um, Acorn Autumn, and that's the piece that was made up at Acorns and Threads that I really liked. So I got this pattern and look forward to making this piece. But this little guy is super cute too, that pumpkin. Did you see him? Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah. oh he's cute. Yeah, so who knows? Oh, I might make both of them. He'd be a quickie for this they one. They make then. cute companion pieces. Yes, yes. Yeah, so that's my new thing from our shop. And then all my other stuff is from my shopping. Do you want to go okay. first? Um, yeah, I belong to the Color and Cotton. So this is their um, brights for th uh, September. This is May's Days. You want to put the thingy up? This is May's Day. See, it's got a lot of variegation and it's really pretty. It's got purple in it and stuff in green. And then Fright Night, which is just a bright, bright orange. And Mystical, which is a purple. So, yeah. If you don't want that, I'll be happy to take it nope. off your hands. No, 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 no. Okay. And then, oh, you want me to do my rest because I don't have many. Yeah. I was Go really ahead. good this month. I don't think we did much. Oh, we went to, Hob to Hobby Lobby and bought a bunch of paint because we're going to paint some frames. But um, Michaels, we got Michaels. Oh, Michaels. okay. Yeah. yeah. So that was no big deal. All right. I saw this one from Heart and Hand, and I just had to have it. Um, it's a fall one. It's a quick one. I'm hoping I can maybe even stitch those up. We'll see. This year. And then this is the new one from uh, yeah. October House, and I love this. I want the pumpkin one, but we ordered it from Yarn Tree, and it was out of stock, so we're going to uh, order from Witch Elf. I don't think I'll get it by the end of October, but but this is Deck the Halls. I love these skinny ones. I have your uh, thread, the, the spools one, and the scissors yeah. to do. So Helen D. has done a tutorial on how to make that into a drum. Oh, and yeah. And she made the pumpkin one into a drum, and yes. it is super Yeah, cute. I love them. They're really cute. So, we will link her okay. video as well. And then this is a Ben Creek pattern that I will probably make for my best friend because I think it's wonderful. It's called Precious Friends. And it says of all 
of all possessions, a friend is the most precious. And I just love that one. I think it's so pretty. It's so nice, yeah. Oh, that's sweet. And then I have to make um, a couple of wedding uh, ones. And so I've ordered a couple different patterns, but this is from Brent Creek. And it says, of my love, be sure. And so I may do that. And I haven't seen that, these Oh, yet. okay, yeah, you haven't seen them. Oh, I like that. Isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. And it's yeah. a contemporary one. Yes. You know, the ones I and have And you could do old. that in any color. Color, yeah, Right, definitely. you could take the Of My Love Be Sure and put that in any color. And the, the you know, the kind yeah. of the ribbony above and below could yeah. be wedding colors. Yeah. Nice. And then um, this one was in the store and I've walked past it about 16 times. So I went ahead and bought it because I have the blue one and the, the pink one. So yeah. this is the Anjou Pears. Yeah. And um, so that's all I did. You're going to have to have a pair along at some point. Yeah, that we could yeah. do. Yeah. Get ready for that, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a pair along. All right. And now so I'm, I'm going to go through all the stuff I bought at Craft Gallery. Um, threads, sampler threads. They do four yard skeins there. Oh. So I picked up a couple of colors that I needed. Weeks dye works. So I went through a couple of patterns before I left and uh, just, <laughs> never just mind. Throw them around. I got colors that I needed, greens and gold and blue, um, and then a couple DMCs. So yeah, um, let's start with the fabric. So they were having a sale while we were there, which we didn't know about. Um, and it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> so all these pieces that I'm going to show you were in half off bins. So this is 28, no, sorry, 36 count aged hazelnut by XG Designs. And that's 11 and a half by 18. So that'll be a great size. Um, Michelle loves XG's uh, fabric. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And it's really soft. I, I have to feel it. I checked it out looking at her stuff. Yeah. And we went back the next day so I could get a piece for myself. Um, this is a 12 by 12 piece of 28 count flax, which is one of my go-tos. This one I had to buy just because the color was so pretty. It is pretty. 32 count garnet from Weeks. And this is a full fat quarter. I don't know what I'm going to stitch on that, but I'll find something. And then these two, I took patterns with me. So the first one is Satsuma Street Sweet Spring. And nope, I lied. Anyway, this is the fabric I got for that one. Sorry about that. This is 16 count Laura's fabric, Mountain Mist. And boy, I looked at every blue, green, blue, green in the shop. And this one was really oh, that's the really best. Pretty. It's really pretty. So that's going to be for Sweet Spring. Um, I feel that like that perfect. blue was for something else too, but... Okay, maybe not. 28 count Arctic. This is an 11 by 12 piece. Um, it is a linen. I don't know who the the dyer is. This is it's the one. Yeah. So this is the Lizzie Kate. Um, I'm going to call it the Nature Series. And I bought this off Stash Unload. And there's six of them that finish into a piece. And I got this 28 count. 32 count meadow rue. This is a fat quarter as well, because I think it'll be great oh, for that. Oh, you're so, gonna do them all in one line. I'm gonna do them all together. Yeah. And then the other piece of fabric I got, this one was not on sale, neither was the Satsuma. So I got this at market, Bent Creek Begin, and I got this beautiful gray, um, oh, which is Lappin Loops, which I've not stitched on before. Medusa's Gaze is the name of the color, and it's a 32 count linen. So some a, a bunch of the colors that I bought are for this yeah. piece. So wow. this hopefully will get started this winter. I think it's yeah. a good winter piece. I love that one. I yeah. Almost, I almost bought it. Good thing I didn't. Well, yeah. <laughs> one of us already has it. Yeah. And then they had a stitcher stash sale on Saturday morning. So, of course, we had to go back for that. We were both very good. I just bought this one piece of linen. It's a very light purple um, uh, with the sparklies in it. What's that called? Opalescent. Opalescent, yeah. So hopefully you guys can see some of the opalescent, but it's just a small, a small piece of it. Um, but that'll be, be good. Good for, for something. something. Yeah. Yep, and I just thought the color was really pretty. So that got added to my stash for $2. 
And then the shop shopping. Um, so I also took this piece, which is from Rovaris. Um, and it's Rovaris. I she call doesn't it name her Joy. Patterns. Yes. Um, and I stitched this a while back, but I stitched it with anchor threads that I had in my stash. So I've had trouble matching for trim. And Paula helped me pick out the green. We held up a red trim, but it was so dominant. She oh, said yeah. she really felt like it wouldn't complement, but it would fight with the pet yeah, pillow. So I, agree. I got this green. It's Dames of the Needle um, Mini Palm in English P. So that will work for this pillow. And then let's see. I'm trying to separate out. I think the only two that I bought from the regular part of the store, um, the scissor, scissor sampler from Tell and Emblem. She's just released a second one. I've always thought this was super pretty since uh, Liz was stitching it. And so she had it, I decided to get it. And then this is another one. Oh, I think the blue works with this. That's mm, what the blue will okay, work with. Yeah. Um, American Sampler House by Annie Bees, and I think this one is super pretty. Oh, I could start this for the Patreon. Yeah, yeah, the blue's in there somewhere. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this, that one. this yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, that Arctic blue I think will work well. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty. So, and then they had a ton of patterns, and it was hysterical because they had like six boxes. And so I'd be looking in a box and I'd pull stuff and show it to Michelle and vice versa. <laughs> so I don't know which not enabling each other. Which at one all. of these were mine and which one she pulled out. But the first one is Amy Brucken, Kitty Witch. Isn't that cute? Aww. Yeah. I know somebody who will like a purple cat. Oh yeah. Per well, a black cat with purple. Yeah. Um, this one, Sea to Shining Sea. And I got that one for somebody special in my life. Because she likes words and she Thank likes patriotic. Um, Elizabeth's Hi. Designs, A Stitch and a Charm, USA, that came with the charms. Oh. Also for my patriotic loving friend. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Block Party 4th. This is the flag oh, version of this one with the thing in it. I won't tell you what a steal this was, but it was a steal. Um... This one I haven't decided if I, I'll share it with you, but I think I'm gonna keep it. Uh, Button Borders Snowman by Sisters and Best Friends. It's a cute one, I know you Yeah, I haven't seen her that. since she came back. No. Because she went off to San Francisco, so I have not seen any of this stuff. Yeah. Oh, is that cute. Isn't it? And then I got um, Holly Jolly by Luminous Fiber Arts, because you know, it has it's a, a snowman and a reindeer, so I think we're both gonna have to stitch this one. And then Cute. I got a Cardinal's Carol by Luminous Fiber Arts as well. I thought that one was really pretty. And that's in memory of her paternal grandmother who loved Cardinals. Oh. Kitty loved Cardinals. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. That's why yeah. I have that Cardinal one, that picture by your dad's chair. And then <gasps> another Amy Brecken. Look at that. <laughs> What's it called? Snowman. A whole bunch of cute. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? And it's stopping here. It's not going in my pile. No, it's not going in your pile. Oh, okay. You can borrow it if you want. Um, and then Little Dove Designs Happy Halloween. That's cute. It was hysterical because Michelle showed me one that she thought looked very much like me, and she was a hundred percent right. And it was Halloween, and I said, "I'm I have so many Halloween. I really don't need to buy any more." <laughs> Then you turn around the and get this The next box, I was like, oh, but I think I need that one. Um, That's cute. And then this one was just beautiful. I just couldn't pass it up. It's oh, Drawn Thread Christmas, Christmas, Christmas <laughs> Thoughts Sampler. And it's just a really pretty alphabet oh. chart. And I bet that's, yeah, it's charted with silk or... But you can use the Splendor. Um, uh, or Overdyne. Yeah. So... Be pretty yeah, nice one. you'll like that one too. And oh, so that was all of our craft gallery shopping. Oh my word. I was doing really well until we started digging through the sale buckets. <laughs> then the next morning we got up and we went over to 
there was a Hobby Lobby, a Joann's, and a Michael's all in the same area. Oh well, we had enough fun in Hobby Lobby that we didn't have to go to the other ones. But I got a couple of things there. So the first one is this piece, which is just a stand-up frame. And it is Fall 2023 Wood Decor, number 5048020. And this is going to be the perfect finishing piece for that. How great. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. So wow. that is a shop model. This is um, Tiny Modernist Crab, crab, uh, crab. It's literally right here. Crab, crab Dance. dance. Crab dance on 14 oh, Crown Ada. Perfect. So yeah, I wanted something that had kind of like a beachy look. Yeah. And I just like the the shape of this. So it's perfect. Hopefully that will be my next FFO and then that will go into the shop. And then I got two other finishing pieces or display pieces. So we saw these in the candle section and thought they would be perfect to put a pin cushion or a biscornu on to yeah. set them on your table so it wouldn't just be sitting in a in a bowl you should take that to the store and put your this corner that's at the store in that so it would really oh, look maybe better i'll have to get another one yeah yeah so that it would look better yeah so this is um in the candle section it's two one eight four zero three four so that was super cute we each got one if you go Double check all these beads around because there were a couple of them that had broken or missing beads. Ooh. So we had to check extra hard. Yeah. Um, and then the last piece I got, uh, don't know how I'm going to use this yet, but it's just, it's just a flat piece on a stand. And this will slide out if it needs to, but I think I'll do, you know, I'll just finish something to stick on it. Um and this is in table decor. It's called Blackboard, and it's number 2074631. So, um, oh, and it, it can be a chalkboard. So this is mm, yeah, chalkboard like painted it, yeah. or yeah. something. Yeah. That's all I bought. <laughs> we had fun. Wow. We had fun shopping. We had fun talking. We had wow. fun stitching. Yeah, so, we did. Yeah. Oh, I love mine. Thank you. I thought you would. Yeah. Alrighty, uh, we have some plans over the next few weeks. Do you want to tell them what we're going to do? Um, well, we have our coat retreat coming up in a couple weeks. Uh -huh. And so we're planning on going to that. In Shipshawana. In Shipshawana. Yep. Which we do a couple times a year. So uh -huh. we're looking forward. And then on Thursday night, we'll go to the Amish farm for dinner where we will eat wonderful food and have Bobby Andy pie. <laughs> your favorite i'm the one yes. who coordinates the dinner and i'm the one who picks the menu and i take requests but we always have bob andy pie because yeah. i like bob andy pie and she makes wonderful bob andy she pie. does yeah. and don't ask me what it is it's like a custard type pie but i love it it's really good it's like a cinnamon like, has a custard cinnamon, yeah, yeah cinnamon on top it's, it's really good. really good yeah she's an excellent cook mm -hmm. excellent cook and then i'm going to las vegas for another work trip right before that i get back Oh yeah, 12.30 a.m. and we leave that about Next morning. 10 hours later for retreat, but we'll be good. Yeah. And I think that's about all that's... that's Evidently, all. I'm going to start a patriotic piece. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, and we're going to keep yeah, we'll working work on, on whip goes and mm -hmm. finishes mm -hmm. and we have framing to pick up. Oh, you went yep. up to, whatchamacallit, in Fort Wayne. Yeah, I have my drawn threads to pick you up have, there. And you got one. And I have one at Michael's. Yep. So you and you have, have two up there, I, have I think. two at each place. So we should have up. several frame, frame things pieces next time. Frame pieces for next time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you want to do the giveaway? Yes. Okay. So the last time um, I showed you that um, um, I think Kim had given us this. Good Kim. You've been mentioned a lot today. Yeah. <laughs> she had given us a bunch of patterns, and this was one of them. And I said, guess what? I've already done this. And I looked for it before we filmed, but I think it's in the big box, and um, I just can't find it. Well, I could find it, but it would be a, you know, the, the closet would come crashing down around me. But that's the one thing I want to mention in my closet. I was in Costco the other day, and they had this looking, really nice looking light, you know, ceiling light. And my closet is pretty big, but it's got a crappy little thing in it. And so I bought it for $20, and my wonderful neighbor next door said, Adam, how hard is that to install? And he came over and put it up. And now 
you can see everything, which is not good. <laughs> but it's so nice to walk every in there. Nick and cranny of that I can see. Oh yeah, closet. I have no doubt anymore about what's in there. It's full of stuff. Yeah. But anyway, so we Jennifer's suggestion was since you've already made it, why don't you give it away? So our our word of the day for this was five. So several of you said the word five, and several of many of you said five the, the number. number five yeah so in your since comments. i have it and kim gave us one we're going to do both yes so we're going to do two giveaways so for the word five we had 43 comments and sally deem is the winner so sally send us your email um to your address and confirm you're over 18 two tall stitchers at gmail.com and for the number five we had 19 people who said that and chris ann Strifle is the winner for that one. So same thing, send us your address and confirm you're over 18 and we will, we're just gonna pop these in an envelope yep. um, and send those out once we get your information. And our address is in the box down below. Yes, to, our to, email. To add email, two tall stitchers at gmail.com. Yeah. So. All right, you wanna ask them our question? Oh, okay, yes. For this our question episode. of the day. And um, we've, since we're going on a quilt retreat and we've just finished up not too long ago our cross-stitch retreat, we thought we'd ask you, have you ever been on a cross-stitch retreat or a quilt retreat or maybe a scrapbooking retreat or maybe a knitting retreat or maybe just, you know, some kind of crafting Craft -related, retreat? related, yeah. And so let us know um, if you went for the first time, if you went by yourself, if you went with a gang <laughs> or whatever. You know, we, we have yeah. a whole group of us that go together and we have a really good time. So, um, and definitely if it's still an active retreat, drop the retreat name, tell us what city and state it's in yeah. so that people can look through the comments and see that if there might be one near close them. to them. Yeah. yeah. Cause a lot of people don't know what to do, where to find, where to, them. Where to find retreats yeah. and stuff. So we are trying to help. And if anybody wants to start a retreat, I know I had one, one viewer who sent me a note. I would be glad to give you tips mm -hmm. because, um, I trained event planning in Girl Scouts. So planning a retreat for 30 people is nothing compared to lunch for 850. Yeah. And so it's very easy to do and it's not terribly stressful. And I think you'd really have a good time. So if you need any tips for that, you know, you can include that in your note and I'll write back to you. Great. So, I well, think I think that's everything. Yes. That was a lot for yeah. today. Um, why are you making that face? Oh, you're I trying was, to I'm read. I'm doing the time because I've got trifocals. 30, 34 four, yeah, minutes, yeah. but we stopped. So, <laughs> we stopped. Yeah. Yeah. So I we've been yammering for a while. Well over an hour today. Yeah. So great. Well, um, what do we say? You always close. What do we say? I always close. <laughs> uh, follow, follow her on Instagram at Jen Quilter. Follow me at Grand Sidges. I've actually been posting a little bit lately and, um, our, um, she has a blog, the Quilting Moms blog at blogs. Uh, blah 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 it's so, down below yeah down below and information about our retreat is also down below uh both of them are full the upcoming ones but you're welcome to send us a no money don't send any no, checks but you can send a registration form and we'll put you on the wait list yep. and um i think that's all i think that's it yeah we'll see so you in a couple we enjoyed weeks. being with you we hope you had a good time if you're new hope you hit the like button and subscribe and come back and if you come back thank you Yes. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> so have a good three weeks. We'll see you in three weeks and fill you in on the latest shenanigans of the family. By yeah. the way, Jen is doing very well at school. Yes. She's really enjoying it. I did FaceTime with her the other day because of all the rain in New York City and the hurricane. And she was like, oh, it's just a little rain. I said, sweetie, you haven't been through a hurricane. I have. Yeah. She's like, oh, yeah. And then it was like, do you know how many puddles there were? Yeah. And oh, it was just pouring. And like, okay, you yeah. know, it's fine. But she's yeah. doing well. And we're really excited. We've FaceTimed with her a few times. And we so. certainly hope that our viewers in New York were not affected yes. by that flooding yes. that happened in the in last the couple of weeks. That was, yeah, that was scary to see. Yeah, yeah. Even up yeah. and down the East Coast, mm -hmm. but especially the stuff that happened in New York the last yeah. couple of days. Yeah. So we hope you're well. We have had very little rain here, so we aren't really worried about flooding. Yeah. And of course, it's going to be in the high 80s this week, which yeah. is ridiculous. It's October, weatherman. Get it straight. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you for joining us. We love the spending time with you, and we look forward to seeing you in three weeks. Bye. Bye. Okay, let's do some quilting. So I'll start by sharing the quilting rulers I am using. It's a two-piece ruler set, the quick curve 
um, curve it long arm ruler from so kind of wonderful so I'm just gonna use the curves to mirror the curves of my quilt and do a quarter inch inside and outside of each curve so here we go And each curve is different, so each time I switch the rulers. Okay, and now the fun part. I filled in two sections, so now I'm going to freehand the quilting in between. section finished.